Incredible Kangaroo Harvesting Australia is the country that is most prominent for having a great number of kangaroos. These are found in other countries too. Kangaroos love to roam in areas with bushes, trees, and water ponds. This is why these are found sprinting in such areas. This species of animal is causing several troubles for the ecosystem of several countries, including Australia. You will get a detailed documentary on how this threat from kangaroos is being confronted by the governments of these countries. The kangaroo is a marsupial from the family Macropodidae, or macropods, meaning large foot. In common use, the term is used to describe the largest species from this family, the red kangaroo, as well as the antilopine kangaroo, eastern grey kangaroo, and western grey kangaroo. Kangaroos are indigenous to Australia and New Guinea. The Australian government estimates that 42.8 million kangaroos lived within the commercial harvest areas of Australia in 2019, down from 53.2 million in 2013. Because of its grazing habits, the kangaroo has developed specialized teeth that are rare among marsupials. Its incisors can crop grass close to the ground, and its molars chop and grind the grass. Since the two sides of the lower jaw are not joined or fused, the lower incisors are farther apart, giving the kangaroo a wider bite. The silica in the grass is abrasive, so kangaroo molars are ground down and they move forward in the mouth before they eventually fall out and are replaced by new teeth that grow in the back. This process is known as polyphyodont and amongst other mammals only occurs in elephants and manatees. Mastering and herding kangaroos is a very hectic task to be carried out but it is a task that keeps workers under pressure and stress in the kangaroo welfare and harvesting industry. While in Australia, governments have primarily distributed the responsibility of wildlife, including kangaroos. Like this video and please click the like button and subscribe to our channel by pressing the bell icon so that you could be the first person to get the latest updates from us. And write down in the comments section what you'd like to watch in the next upcoming video. Keep watching. The Australian government is involved in the management of kangaroos. These managing parameters are made with the inclusion of their harvesting with usual monitoring to observe the reflections in their population. Kangaroos that are commercially harvested are not listed for international trade as they suffer from various diseases. There are around 47 million kangaroos in Australia that experts expound as a major threat to the environment by grazing more than their actual need. This is why researchers stress over their control in order to protect the ecosystem of the country. This is why reducing their population would be a better option for the protection of the ecosystem, or these should be kept in some other areas. Similarly, the laboratory tests by the Australian government also indicated that the kangaroo has distinct characteristics than the other classification of animals. The government went with the first option and decided to reduce their number by hunting a major number of them. Once kangaroos are harvested and tagged, they are kept in a section called Fuel Depot and are kept there for 24 hours in a centigrade of minus 7. The managers must comply with all terms and conditions of chilling and send the kangaroos for processing with required conditions only.
disinfect each part of the kangaroo, including their kidney, heart, liver, and lungs, while any sign of abnormality can become the reason for cancellation for further processing with an attached tag that's a result of their body that's further inspected by the inspector that how long a kangaroo was kept in the chiller. This record is maintained on a daily basis. There's great care for maintaining the hygiene level of the plant. In addition to this, when the slaughtered kangaroos reach the ultimate processing plants, they're rechecked by the quality inspector to ensure their credibility for meeting the quality. This check is done by temperature measuring equipment fitted in the kangaroo for a certain duration. Simultaneously, these are checked even after processing. Each organ of the kangaroo is checked whether it's hygienic and disease-free or not, and only pass when it meets the Australian standard quality. Those organs which do not meet the criteria are degraded and condemned for human consumption, while authorized for pet feeding only. The processing plant is tested daily with microbiological tests before initiating the production processes. Haru is the leading kangaroo meat distributor in Australia and mostly deals with the export of kangaroo meat at an international level withholding the government official license and certificate for exports. Similar factories like Peru are eligible only for export because they meet every criterion that has been standardized by the Australian government. <laughs>